자 그러면 지난번 렉처에 이어서 이번에도 포트폴리오 디오리를 볼 거고요. 포트폴리오 초이스 프로블럼 스테릭 경우에 그런데 이 경우에는 어, 카라 로그 노멀 케이스를 볼 거예요. 지난번에는 우리가 어, 카라 노멀 케이스를 봤죠. Constant absolute risk aversion with normal uh, distribution for asset returns. 근데 이번 케이스에서는 CRRA 카라가 아니라 CRRA를 볼 거예요. Constant relative risk aversion. plus uh, as the returns follow uh, log normal cases so continuing on the previous lecture we will consider the CRRA constant relative risk aversion uh, when as the returns follow log normal distribution There's one benefit of using log normal returns because it is very intuitive. Because uh, that's because log normal returns capture continuous compounding of IID independent, identically distributed returns. 자 이게 무슨 말이냐면요. 어, log normal return을 쓰면 좋은 점이 있어요. 왜냐하면 log normal return은 continuous compounding 된 IID 리턴의 극한 값으로 근사가 될수 있습니다. 자, 이게 왜 그런지 봅시다. Why is that the case? It's very common to assume that returns are log normal with IID returns. And this can be proved. This can be proved using the following. Using the following here. In other words, what is a log return? log of 1 plus r t comma t plus 1 so what is this and what is this quantity here 자 이게 뭐죠 이게 아 uh, log return 이요 여기서 r은 net return 입니다 r은 net return 이에요 gross return이 아니에요 r은 그래서 1 plus r이 gross return 입니다 이거에 log를 씌워준 거는 뭐랑 같냐면요 뭐랑 같냐면 이제 자, 여기가 time t 고 this is time t and the other is time t plus one. Let's divide this one period into n pieces. 이렇게 나누죠? 그러면 이 각각의 리턴이 어떻게 되겠어? 이 각각의 리턴이 각각의 리턴이 one plus r t plus i comma t plus i over 이게 어떻게 되죠? 잠깐만요. 이렇게 되죠. 잠깐만요. 네. t plus i plus 1 over n. 그래서 작은 리턴들로 쪼개질 수가 있는데 그것들을 이제 다 더하면 if you add them all and then because they is in logs is going to multiply with themselves and you divide by n then it's going to become this, um, this one period return. 그 다음에 여기서 어, 각각의 이 리턴 포션들이 이 각각의 이 리턴들이 음, IID이고 finite second moment distribution을 따지고 있으면 central limit theorem을 쓸 수가 있죠. 네? 따라서 여기 있는 이 sum이 normal random variable로 근사하게 됩니다. In other words, because this one pure return can be decomposed uh, into the sum of these small log normal, uh, the sum of the small log normal variables and divide by n. In other words, this one pure return is simply average of this small continuously compounded returns. Okay? Therefore, uh, by the central limit theorem, the log returns becomes a normal distributed, normally distributed random variable. Okay. 따라서 log normal return이 intuitively uh, 이렇게 좋은 점들이 있어요. Now, uh, let's take a look at this investor problem. So the investor is going to maximize the expected future utility 
where the utility is given uh, with this Kara utility function. And we will assume that gamma is less than one without loss of generality. Okay. 자, 그 다음에, uh, 어떤 성질을 쓸수 있냐면요. Because, because, um, Um, wealth가 log normal, log normal distribution을 따라하기 때문에 자 여기서 우리가 그냥 단순히 어, 일단은 we don't have to consider one minus gamma, right? In the maximization problem, it doesn't matter. And instead of looking at uh, the expected value of this. We can take a look at the log of the expected value. Okay. Now the key is that key is that because the returns follow log normal variable, we will see that we will see that uh, this wealth future wealth also follows the log normal variable. Okay. Therefore, this maximization problem is the same as this maximization. What is it? So it's the same property that we saw for the log normal random variable. So log of this expected value is basically the same as uh, one minus gamma times the expected value plus a half times the, uh, the one minus gamma squared times the uh, sigma squared, okay? which follows from the property of the uh, property of the log normal random variable. 여기 잠깐 구현 설명을 하면요. 잠깐만 봅시다 이거를. 이게 왜 이렇게 되냐면요. 지금 음, 우리가 보일 점이 어, 이제, 어, asset return이 log normal이잖아요. 따라서 future wealth is wealth to also log normal. asset return is log normal, therefore future wealth is also log normal. Then it follows that this is also log normal. Why? Let's just take the log. Take the log of this thing and it becomes one minus gamma times log of W. Okay? And because this is log normal, I mean, that, I'm sorry, that is normal. This is normal, normal random variable. Therefore, normal random variable times the constant is a normal random variable. So this is normal random variable, okay? Therefore, it follows that this is a uh, log normal random variable, right? Therefore, um, if you take the expectation of the log of some log normal random variable, okay. then it is basically the same as uh, expected value of the uh, log of the, I'm sorry. That's the log of uh, log of these sorry therefore what do you want to do e uh, expected value of Right, this is the same as okay. 
okay this is the same as basically expected value basically e to the expected value of log of w1 minus gamma plus half of the variance of log of w1 minus gamma okay. and that is basically uh, the same formula that we use over and over here okay. now uh, there's the budget constraint is the following. What do I mean by the budget constraint? Okay. okay. So budget constraint means that the future wealth, the future wealth. The future wealth t plus one is going to be the current wealth times um, return on the risk free asset plus your share in the risky asset. Okay, this is basically your portfolio return okay and this term is basically your portfolio return at t plus one okay so the, your portfolio is going to earn uh, one plus rf the risk-free rate and in addition to that uh, by uh, tilting your portfolio by a so a is the portfolio share is the fraction so fraction of money in the risk asset you're earning the risk uh, the excess return okay so one plus RF를 무조건 갖고 이게 risk free uh, risk free rate잖아요. 거기에 더 더해서 A라는 fraction A가 이제 portfolio weight이에요. Risky assets 들어가는 portfolio weight A 곱하기 uh, excess return만큼 더 벌게 되는 겁니다. Okay. Therefore, uh, W t plus 1 equals w t uh, times times 1 plus r p okay so that's the portfolio return now in terms of log so now you take the log transformation then we get w t plus 1 equals w t plus r p T plus one. Okay. So what are the uh, notations here? Notation is that uh, so E W T plus one the log wealth we will, and this is equal uh, log portfolio return. You okay. can okay. Now using that notation then investor problem becomes just plugging in the numbers here. It becomes like this. Okay. Now this can look a little bit puzzling because it looks like the investor prefers higher variance because there's a plus sign here. But in fact, if you rearrange it, this plus sign will get in and your actual uh, maximization problem will become like that. Okay. So in other words, even in this uh, CRRA case, investors a trade off between mean and variance. 무슨 말이냐? Uh, investors are risk averse. 하기 때문에 높은 수익률을 원하긴 원하지만 만약에 그 높은 수익률이 높은 리스크와 같이 온다 그러면 별로 좋아하지 않는 거예요. That's the meaning of the trading of mean against variance. 
In other words, investors want to maximize average simple return, average return, but minimizes variance of the log return. That's the investor maximization problem. 자, 그 다음에 어떤 것들을 봐야 되냐면요. This is computationally not done yet because we are dealing with the log portfolio return, but the log portfolio return, which I have here, 자, 이게 log portfolio return이죠? Well, I, I forgot one plus here. It should be one plus the log portfolio return. In other words, log of one plus R P T plus one. So it's a typo. Okay. One plus log return이 Hmm. 자, 이게 log 1 plus risk free risk free uh, okay. A라는 portion 만큼을 risky asset 그리고 1 minus A를 이렇게 되잖아요. 그래서, and therefore, if you rearrange it, then you will become one plus R F plus A times R T plus one minus R F. Okay. So there is actually uh, this is also typo. There's one T plus one is also one plus R F. Okay. Okay. So, but then the problem is. This is still uh, highly non-linear. Okay? 왜냐면 앞에서 CRI case 같은 경우에는 여기 log가 없었잖아요. There was no log, okay? so there was it was linear. But because of log function, this is not easy to deal with. Now, what do we do? We need to break this log function. How do we do that? We use the Taylor approximation okay, to obtain log portfolio returns uh, in terms of log x returns. So how do we do that? So on the left hand side here, on the left hand side here, you have the log access return on the portfolio. Okay. By definition, you can write it like this. Okay. And by rearranging, you can write it like that because that is because RP is simply RF plus a times r minus rf okay. so by plugging in you will obtain this expression here and also re you can rearrange it like that okay. 자, 이다음에 uh, Taylor expansion this technique is going to be very useful and it comes over and over in financial economics so Taylor expansion of 자, log return을 tail expansion 하는 겁니다. 즉 어떻게 되냐? 어, 이 function을 tail expansion 하게 되면 이렇게 되고요. But you can prove it by doing the usual simple tail expansion. Okay. 따라서 저기 앞에 있는 케이스에 적용을 하게 되면 어떻게 됩니까? The x is rt plus 1 minus rf. So that is x. So we are assuming that uh, log return, log risk return minus the log risk free rate, uh, rate is a very small number. So we can apply the tail expansion and we get this linearization of, of the log access return in terms of this. Okay. 따라서 we can write, we can rearrange it and then we can also write it like that. So what's the whole purpose of this? Because if you if you go back two slides, now our uh, portfolio maximization problem involves uh, RP, which is the portfolio return. But we want to know the investor demand. We want to, what do we want to get? We want, we want to get A. Why is A important? A is the demand for the risky asset. A is the amount you put, you're putting in the risky asset and we want to obtain A 
but then the problem is it is not easy because a was inside of the log function right so we wanted to get a out of the log function so that's the reason why we we applied this Taylor uh, expansion okay so Taylor expansion is to get a man we can obtain like that in other words access return the left hand side is the access return on the portfolio is simply a the portfolio portion you put in the risky asset times the access return on the uh, risk free uh, on the risky asset okay. now you can take the a condition expectation and and now what do we get because we assume that our t plus one was normal random variable. Okay, so this was the normal random variable, right? Now, after tail expansion, because rt plus one is the normal random variable, a times rt plus one minus rf plus this thing here. This is also normal random variable, meaning this is normal random variable. I'm sorry the one in the parenthesis. Now, this is normal random variable. Therefore, this is also normal random variable. Therefore, this is also normal random variable, right? Then, if you go three slides back, okay. Now, we also have W becomes normal random variable as well, so that the previous portfolio choice problem becomes uh, much easier. Okay. And then we can use the usual fact, the same fact as before, because now everything is normal, we can apply the, uh, the previous formula here, and then the expected return on the, I'm sorry, expected return on the uh, log risk asset is simply a times the excess return. Okay. Okay. Now the investor maximization problem, if you recall from the previous slides, it is given like this. Okay. Now using the uh, linearization with that we did before plugging in and the maximization problem becomes like this okay now what do we do you take the derivative with respect to a and this is what you get okay now if you come so if you look at this equation what do you get the 분모 분자가 뭐죠? 분자는 access return. Access return is the numerator. 그리고 분모는 times gamma. 그게 이거고요. C의 카라 케이스에서 어떻게 됐어요? Remember, mu over a times sigma squared. You see the similarity? They are basically the same. In other words, in both cases where you can use the linearization or the normal, the property of the normal distribution, what do you get? The demand for the risky asset. 즉, 리스키 에셋을 얼마나 사고 싶은지는 그 리스키 에셋의 access return, mu, 그리고 risk sigma and the risk aversion a or gamma에 따라서 결정되게 됩니다. 